Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Anna. Thank you for watching. We are going to make a very simple, delicious Filipino recipe that we used to make when I was young. I remember that. And uh, so what we have now is a bistec Tagalog, which is a Filipino version of a steak. So what we have here, it's very simple and plain, but delicious and full of flavor so what we have here I have a shaved steak right here I choose this meat because it's easy to fix you know it's very thin and what I have here with my own version just to play with the flavor and things like that is what I have is a plantain banana I have the onion. If you notice guys, in uh, Bistik Tagalog or Filipino version of steak is, what we have here is a ring onion instead of a chop. Is a, we have here a ring onion instead of a chop onion. So that's just the difference of uh, shape though. For some reason, this is just, you know, it gives the, you know, the texture of the steak. So what I have here is onion, the garlic, and the pepper. Voila, it's very easy. So what I have right here is uh, our steak has already been marinated 24 hours. I have, I put in um, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, sugar, pepper, and I put uh, some parsley and basil, marinate them overnight, and this is what it looks like. Okay, we're going to start cooking now, guys. Okay, so what we'll have to do is we will start frying the plantain. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, fry them for, for a minute or two, just like that, to get the brown texture of uh, the plantain. There you go. So we will just brown them and then after we brown this uh, plantain then we will just set them aside okay, just like that this is beautiful like oh I can already smell the aroma of this plantain. Okay. That's what we'll have to do is just brown them. There you go guys, after a minute, if you notice right here, the plantain turns yellow now and this is what we're looking for and this is just delicious. Because plantain would complement the steak flavor and I figured you know we can put them on the side on the top of the uh, steak and this would be perfect so we doesn't want them to overcook so we just want them to turn yellow and uh, I think this is good and we will start the next ingredients okay guys so this is ready so I will just transfer them to my plate okay so because I want them to just put them on the top of my steak just like that okay, I'll just transfer them oh this is just beautiful guys you look at that okay so the next ingredients that we're going to put in is half of my onion I would like to save half of them for um, our garnishing later. Okay, like that. Oh, this is just beautiful. Okay. And the next thing is our garlic. We will just oops, we'll just saute them for a minute until the 
onion caramelizes okay just like that okay after a minute I'm gonna put in the stage just like that so what we want is to brown the meat oh this is just delicious smells so good Beautiful. And you know guys, this is very easy, you know. And most of most of the ingredients is you have them in your pantry. So it's it's really it's really just a very simple recipe but delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna save the marinated sauce and I'm just gonna put them on the last part after we brown the meat okay okay we will just brown the meat for like two or three minutes guys so after five or seven minutes simmering I would like to put my marination right here okay just like that and this will give more flavors to that beautiful steak that we have okay and then the next thing that I, what I'm gonna put in is our pepper yeah I'm just gonna put the pepper just like that so I have everything in there I have the garlic the onion pepper and our beautiful steak right there so we will just simmer them for another five seven minutes and it should be done there you go guys after seven minutes if you notice guys the sauce has already been reduced so this is what we're looking for. So this is ready for plating. There you go guys. So this is our bistic Tagalog with a twist. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you notice guys, you see what I did? I have the plantain around the bowl and you can use this as a uh, carb for your steak. So, and if you notice guys, uh, bistic Tagalog, or Filipino version of steak is very simple very delicious and it's it's not hard to fix honestly so it just takes me like you know five ten minutes probably the most is 15 you know to cook and things like that so this is our version of bistec Tagalog and once again guys thank you for watching and I am and please don't forget to subscribe I would really appreciate that and um, I'm gonna see you later guys for the next video and don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot of recipe coming up and once again thank you for watching this is Anna bye